so we're here with Dr. Raul Pacheco Vega, who is an academic as well as a social media strategist, among other things, but I'm gonna let um, Raul let us know. Um, but more importantly, today we're gonna talk about HB strategy. Um, Raul, can you tell us a little bit about yourself as well as HB strategies? Um, thank you, Mina. I am uh, an academic by training. I have a doctorate in environmental studies and I specialize in environmental policy. My area of research is North American environmental policy with a focus on water, sustainability, and hazardous waste. Um, I've spent the last 10 years of my life trying to understand why people pollute um, their water, why people pollute their soil, and possible strategies and policies we can create to prevent that pollution. Um, I also happen to be um, really active in the social media community. So I have a fairly strong social media presence on Facebook and on Twitter and YouTube and Flickr. And derived from that, my company, HP Strategies, has started to develop workshops and individual consulting um, processes to develop strategies and tactics on how companies can implement social media, including companies, businesses, and also academics. So for example, in a couple of weeks, I will be giving a seminar on how academics like me can use social media to disseminate the research findings because the public is going to need to consume those findings. So why not make it easier for them to read them on a blog or on a Twitter account or on a Facebook web fan page? So you're, you're essentially trying to make um, put um, make social issues have a bit more of a engagement tool um, to it, right? So it does sounds different. Yeah, academics have this. Th there is this perception of academics as we live in an ivory tower because we are at the university, we are protected, and you know we have freedom of research, freedom of speech, freedom of instruction. But the truth is, we are humans like anybody else, and we're part of the public. And the public is not getting access to our research, and it, it ends up in great books, PhD dissertations that end up in a library, and they're never used. So if you use, what I'm trying to do is to get academics like me to start using social media in order to disseminate what they're finding about problems that they're trying to solve. So for example, I, study water and I study water pollution and I'm trying to with my blog to engage with the community in order to learn more about why they pollute the water and what are the needs for better environmental policy instruments to prevent water pollution. Yeah see this is this is what I appreciate about what you do because you um, break it down make it simpler for people like me to digest some of the important issues that you study and you have you um, that are important, some of the causes that are important. Now, can you let us know, like, maybe like two or three tips or tools that you would recommend, say, a nonprofit or a, a small interest group that, that can possibly utilize to bring more voices to their, their issues? I think the first step, and, and this is really interesting, I think the first step is to set up a Twitter account. And I think Twitter accounts allow you to have these quick, fast, bi directional interactions. Um, I also think that every organization, we're in the year 2010, every organization, nonprofit, every academic, every university needs a blog. Yes. Everybody needs a blog. And one of the biggest tips that I have, and that's the third one, is point everything to your blog because your blog is permanent, whereas Twitter is very volatile. So, you know, tweets that you sent two weeks ago are not going to be in the database anymore. But your blog will be there and it is important for you to whatever you write about, you point back to your blog. Okay, those are some amazing tips. Now, how can we find you? How can these nonprofit interest group or even someone like me who's very interested in social media find you on Twitter and blog? Like, tell us the million ways that we get the, <laughs> how we can find you. You can find me on Twitter as at Raul Pacheco, R-A-U-L-P-A-C-H-E-C-O. You can also find me on uh, Facebook. I have a Facebook fan page under Dr. Raul Pacheco Vega. 
Um, I also have a personal blog and a research blog. And my research blog is located at www.raulpacheco.org forward slash blog. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of other ways to find me. You can Google me. I'm very easily Googleable. Um, but I think those would be the three main ways to, to find me. Great, thank and you. And also, yes. you can find me live, um, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays at the Network Hub. I hold a desk at the Network Hub, so you can find me on Tuesdays and on Thursdays before I teach. I teach at one on Thursdays, so. Wow. Easiest way to access me is to actually stalk me. So you're stalkable then. I am stalkable. Okay, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you.